What's going on guys? Zach with Overland Zam, and today we're going to be turning this into this. This solar panel is designed for the Jeep Wrangler and Jeep Gladiator, and they have different versions of this panel as well. You might remember in our last video that we did a review of Ant City's Jump Starter, which can jumpstart your vehicle just in case you actually get a dead battery. But for those that keep electronics running like a fridge, a Jackery, or even plugging in your cell phone and different electronics, you might wanna consider getting a hood mounted solar panel. So a couple of reasons that you would even want to get a hood mounted solar panel for your Jeep Wrangler is to constantly provide some sort of electricity to it. This does it by trickle charging from the sun to your battery to not only extend the battery life, but to make sure that it always stays charged. Another great benefit of having the hood mounted solar panel is storage. We all know that our rigs don't have a lot of storage on the inside of them and portable solar panels really can get in the way. So instead, it's mounted to the hood. And that leads me to my last point of, you don't need a special rack on top of your Jeep in order to have solar power. Other solar panels make you have to have some sort of rack or put it on top of your rooftop tent. And some people don't really wanna do that. So a great option is having it on your hood. Not to mention that it also reduces some of the glare that I'm sure many of you experience while you're on the road. A few reasons why we think Linsun Solar is the better choice over other competitors is that they do have an optional hood vinyl decal that you can get to protect your paint from the adhesive of the solar panel. Not only that, but they also have a plug and play solution for the solar panel, so that way all you have to do is plug it into the BCM and you're done. That makes installation very smooth and very easy to do. We already talked about all the great benefits of having a hood mounted solar panel to the Jeep. So let's go ahead and install the vinyl sticker first. So for this portion, you're not going to need a whole lot of stuff. You're gonna want some alcohol so that way you can clean your hood and make sure all the dust, dirt, grime, anything on it is off. And then you're gonna have some soapy water so that way you can have some play whenever you're installing your vinyl sticker. And included in the kit is this squeegee so that way you can squeegee out your soapy water once when you're done. And some rags so that way you can have a, uh, a nice clean surface after you finish doing the alcohol. I'm just gonna wipe it down, make sure it's dry, and then have the soapy water on there. Luckily, installing the vinyl sticker is a pretty straightforward process. We're going to clean the hood to the best of our ability with the alcohol to make sure any dust, dirt, or even wax is off the hood. Next, start spraying the hood generously with soapy water. That way you have enough water that you can work the vinyl sticker the way that you need to. And having an extra set of hands to put it on the Jeep is not going to hurt. As you can see, we decided to spray a whole lot of water on the vinyl sticker and the hood to make sure that we did have enough room to play with. In this case, it's much better to have more than enough than not enough. After you have your vinyl sticker where you want it, go ahead and start squeegeeing with the squeegee provided in the kit. Make sure that you're not going to put any creases inside the vinyl. And if you need to, lift the vinyl up, respray it, and lay it back down because once when it's down, that's all you got. Make sure to be patient whenever you're installing this as it can be pretty difficult. You're dealing with some cuts in it as well as a rounded off hood. So it is a little tricky to get all of the air bubbles out. If you find yourself having some very fine or very small air bubbles, let your Jeep sit out into the sun. If it is an issue and it persists, what you can do is get a small needle and poke at the center of the hole, and then that way that extra air or water, or whatever is trapped in there, can release from it. So we're gonna let this sit. We have to let it sit for about 24 to 48 hours per Lin Sun's instruction, and then we can install our solar panel. So we'll do that coming up next.
first thing you'll notice when you open up the box is the BCM or battery control module. This plug and play system is designed to be very intuitive. You can see that the cables run out from the BCM for the battery, for extra lights, and for the solar panel. Having a quick look, you can see that these ones hook up to your solar panel and you have your positive and negative terminal leads. And in your positive one, you get a built-in fuse. So we're gonna go ahead and take that out because we're about to install this. A good location I decided to mount the BCM was on top of the fuse box. So here I am just cleaning it, getting the surface ready for when it's time to finish the install. Installing the BCM is pretty easy. First thing you wanna do is make sure that your fuse is out, like so. So that way we're not gonna generate any power. We minimize our chance of getting shocked or electrocuted. And then you take your 13 millimeter ratchet, wrench if you have it, and find the place that you're gonna to wanna to set up your positive and negative leads. Again, they made this really plug and play so you don't have to do much. You just have to connect it where it says to connect it. So I have routed my negative lead to my negative terminal up here. And then I'm going to hand tight it for now because we're gonna check it later on. And we're gonna do the same thing with our positive terminal. And luckily there's enough slack for me to not have to worry about these wires. Even if they're in the way, you can always tuck them into the side, but I did choose to put my BCM on top of the fuse box and I'll end up securing that later on. Finally, you need a place where you're going to be putting these bad boys. These are your connectors to the actual solar panel itself. So I'm gonna set those aside for now, make sure that these wires are where I want them and we're going to hook up the solar panel and feed that wire through the hood, make sure everything works before we finalize it. After hooking everything up, you'll notice these lights come on. This is a good time to pause the video so you can see what the lights mean. Since ours is good to go, we can move on to installing the solar panel. Before we install the solar panel, we wanna make sure that it's nice and clean so that way our adhesive strips are going to stick on there like so. I'm gonna pause the video right here so that way you can see what we did and how we did it to secure the solar panel to our hood. So a good thing that would help out with this portion is having some painter's tape, and I had some painter's tape that I left at home because I was supposed to install this at the house. So find something that you can line up the corners. This particular one is a little bit more easy because it lines up kind of one way, so you really can't mess it up. Next, open your hood up all the way so that way you can feed the wires inside your engine compartment and you don't have to worry about feeding all of it in there. You're gonna button it up toward the end. Next, you need to remove all of the back strips to the adhesive, and luckily for me, I recruited Amanda to help me out. We ended up saying, let's have a race, and she whooped my butt. So once when they're all done, you can go ahead and install the panel to your hood. Now, earlier I did mention that you are going to need some painter's tape so that way you can make a painter's tape hinge to allow you to start from the front of the Jeep and work your way to the back of the Jeep. Unfortunately, I left it at home at the time, so we are doing a hinge with Amanda in the back and then me in the front, making sure that we fully secure this down. Again, Lin Sun Solar does not recommend doing it this way, it happened to work for us and we got it to look great. Do what they say in the instructions, but for us, this worked out beautifully. After you finish your install, make sure that you park your Jeep somewhere that it can rest for about 24 hours. Cause you're gonna to wanna to put something on top of the solar panel that weighs it down so that way all of the 3M tape can cure onto that vinyl sticker appropriately. We didn't have any weights, so we did have to get creative. And what we did have was two eight pound charcoal bags that can actually contour to the hood of the Jeep. And we parked on the side of the house so that way we don't have to worry about our neighbors being mad at us. 
Now for added protection and just because I feel like I need to over engineer everything, I am going to be using this black silicone that I got from O'Reilly's Auto Parts just to go around, especially this front side because I don't know if you can hear it. It may have been the installation, it may have been because I didn't have enough weight, but it feels very solid on there, but I just don't like having that small amount of play, especially in the front. We do take this thing about 80, 90 mile an hour if we have to, and uh, I want this to stay on there without having to worry about it flopping off. My overall impression of Linsun Solar solar panel is that it is an incredible addition to anyone that wants to have peace of mind out on the trail. With this hood mounted solar panel, I am able to charge all of my electronics, including my Jackery, being able to keep my Dometic on all the time without having to plug and unplug the Jackery system like I was doing before, and then charging my GoPro, my phone, anything electronic, you name it, this thing can do it, and I don't have to worry about my battery dying. Another wonderful tool that Linsun Solar has is the integrated app that can connect via Bluetooth so you don't need to have Wi-Fi in order to check up on your battery health, your consumption, and when it's going to charge your battery. So if you're wanting peace of mind on your next overlanding or off-roading camping adventure, make sure that you check out Linsun Solar for their hood-mounted solar panel. Again, fitting any vehicle that you might be taking out on the trail. If you found this video useful, make sure that you give it a like. And if you wanna keep seeing content like this and seeing a little bit more of Maverick, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss out on our next video. As always, we appreciate you watching and we look forward to seeing you in the next one. Good boy. Where's the Maverick? Hey guys, Derek here with Overland Zam with my buddy Zach, the original Overland Zam. From Overland Zam. Let's see. We have the 55 watt. Yeah. What do you feel like? This way.